Yes, so what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live. This video is a little bit something else, man. Um, this is like a hybrid video. So this is like, does a badge really matter? Like, uh, like today we're, we're going to be exploring limitless range, and does limitless range really matter? And the effects of limitless range. Now, let me understand y'all something, man. Something about this badge that I didn't know. Limitless range appears to help every shot. And I'm gonna show you this right now. Look at this. Okay, you see me standing back for three, right? But look at me, if, if he lets me walk up to twos, right? Look, you see how that thing is damn near touching the stamina bar? That wasn't like that before I got limitless range. First off, let me hop step to the side on it. Let me hit this shot on him. Cat. Okay, pass it back out. Pass the ball! Anyway. That wasn't like that before I got limitless range. Before I got limitless range, it was about, um, and I'll show y'all that in a second. First off, let me show you guys how to get limitless range. Right here on the screen, you're seeing me get limitless range. Uh, the way that I got it was, I go to the wing, uh, take a step back, and then just shoot the jumper from there, caddy corner, you know, in front of the timeline or whatever, and you'll see that right now. But does it matter? It, it was on non-shooting archetypes. The answer is emphatically yes, and I'm going to show you right now how much it matters. Okay, well, whenever we get the ball back, I'm going to show you how much it matters. Um, because this is something that I just noticed. I noticed it immediately after I got it, but it's something that I never noticed because with my sharpshooter, I've been playing with limitless range for so long that um, I've been playing with limitless range for so long, I, I never really paid attention to it. So anyway, check it out. Look at look at the line. Look at look at the line where it is. It's damn near touching my stamina bar, right? Okay, you see that? It's 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 a it's it's a big smiley face. Cash, bitch. It's damn near touching the stamina bar from everywhere. Yes, that is a hot spot and all that good stuff. We're gonna see him to the end with VC because we already cat we already killing him. But you saw where it was, right? Now something that I noticed in my court, you're shooting without your badges. You have your hot spots, but you don't have any badges on your my court. So that's why I left that game. Uh, I, want, I had to show it to you from inside the game because I didn't feel like going to the park. You guys will see it later when I stream. You know, link it down in the description or whatever. But I didn't. I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to go to the park and then have to wait till people give me the ball and see you see if I can stand on certain spots and all types of stuff like that. And I probably shouldn't have done this live because the basketball stuck because 2K wants to do all that, but that's a whole nother matter. Uh, if it takes too long, we'll just cut it, man. But the thing, uh, the fact of the matter is, what I realized is that you saw the, the smiley face was damn near touching the stamina bar. Hey, my dog Denver is back with the fake bulletproof vest on. That's what's up, dog. We know that car right there wasn't yours. That thing was like a Maserati. You you probably can get a Mazda Ratty. But anyway, you saw the smiley face was damn near touching my, um, it was damn near touching my stamina bar. If I had enough stamina, uh, if I had more than a little 70 stamina or whatever I got, you know, straight up, I, it probably would have been touching the stamina bar. But... That smiley face was damn near touching the stamina bar. Now watch when we go back to my court. When you get back to my court, like I said, you're shooting without your badges. You're shooting pretty much naked. So, so um, you know, so you know, you you know how it is. So once we get back to 93, I'll step onto my court and you'll see you'll see how how it looks without the badge. I hope I had I hope you had enough time there for you to be able to see uh, how big the smiley face was. And uh, cause that's all I'm really trying to show you guys here. That limitless range actually matters and it matters on twos as well as threes. Like we know that you'll be more consistent from three with limitless range and we know that you that you can shoot from a little bit further, obviously, right? But what I want to show you here is, as soon as I walk in, look at them sidling in, man, I hate sidlers. Oh, the sidler. But anyway, what I want to show you is, now watch me get the ball right here. On my court with no badges, you see, you see the difference there. When I was on the court, it was damn near like when I was right here. That thing was damn near touching my stamina bar, and it's you know it's and now it's just about like a, a perfect half circle. So it was a little bit above the half circle when I was playing on the actual court. But right now, and, and to show you, like I said, that badges don't don't really count because when I when I was even with the timeline, I had a smiley face, right? So now, even with the timeline, you see you see how how you know even with the timeline i really don't have anything 
So, and even even in front of the timeline, it's not it's not gonna like what one step back. I'm all the way out of range. One step in, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. So, but like I said, it was almost touching the top when I was when I had it there. So that shows you that limitless range actually matters, and it appears to matter for any shot. It's like it just extends your range, or it just makes it a little bit better. Like even in the paint. It doesn't go up. It doesn't go up. Well, that's a cold spot for me in the paint. I don't shoot from the paint. But right here, you see, you see, it's still just perfectly parallel. But the last shot that you saw me take in the game, it was damn near touching the stamina bar. So that just lets us know limitless range actually matters, and it lets us know how much it matters as well. So if you have a non-shooting archetype and you want to get limitless range, like I said, just follow the uh, instructions that I put in. You know, come up court. Get in front of the uh, get in front of the line, one step back and pull it. You know, step back and, and uh, shoot it catty corner right there. Most of the time you're gonna hit it. Of course you gotta put it on rookie. Uh, I wish they had rookie casual, but I mean, hey, that badge was tough for me to get, dog. And for as tough as that badge is to get for some people like me who are complete trash, you know, it, it, I think the I think it really is rewarding. But anyway, let me get up out of here, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope this helps somebody out. Limitless range matters, and that's how you get it. Uh, but I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Hello! 360 out this mug.